Hello, Brother Andrew here. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the use of eLearning Brothers conversational scenarios. In the eLearning Brothers Camtasia template library, there's an entire section dedicated to scenarios right here. If you click on that, you'll see a large selection of different types of scenarios. All of these scenarios are ready to be inserted into your Camtasia project uh, by way of libzip file. Now there's two different types of these scenarios. One is an instructional scenario and the other is conversational. Instructional is kind of like this one. We'll go ahead and click on this maroon building and, and watch it. So you can see that there's only one person. And as you play through it, it's displaying a lot of information. And uh, so it's as if this person is speaking directly to your viewer. A lot of these will also have uh, buttons that are that are ready for interaction. Let's see if we can find one of those. This one right here, this conference room. This one is one person interacting with the viewer, and there's several buttons that you can turn into hotspots and use them to to bounce around your timeline. What I'm going to be talking about today are these conversational scenarios. In these scenarios, you'll find two characters, many times with, with speech bubbles around them waiting for you to customize. So let's go ahead and, and pick one of them. I think we should get this simplistic uh, Camtasia scenario. So we'll go ahead and download the libzip and we'll open up Camtasia. And we're gonna import that libzip into our library. So we'll click and drag it into our library. Select that yes, we do want to import it. And here it is, Scenario Simplistic. So if we drag that down onto the timeline, it's all in one big group, as all libzips are. And I'm going to need to change my canvas size to be 1080. Now if we play through this, you can see the two characters. And it looks like this is going to be a conflict resolution slide. So this, this scenario can be used to demonstrate conflict resolution or, or some sort of argument or any sort of thing to try to show um, the way two people interact. And it's pretty easily customizable. We can either ungroup the whole thing or if we really like the, the order that these slides are in and exactly their timing and everything, all you have to do is go to the place where the text is, double click on it, and then you can change the text. Title of argument video. That's what we'll call that one. This one will say, we'll say Vivian doesn't, doesn't agree. Then we'll move on and we'll say Frank feels that he is in the right. Now you can see this one's going to need a little more customizing because you can't read all of the words so we can drag this over and it'll resize for us or if we don't want to do it that way we can come into the text box settings and let's increase this the left side to uh, 100 and the right side to 100 see if that gets it enough you can read it I don't think it's quite enough so we'll go ahead and increase it to 150 there we go feels a little better this one we can, Vivian explains her side of the argument. And then here we can say, Frank sees her side and wants to apologize. And then this can be the, the conclusion text where you say, you know, and they all lived happily ever after. So it's pretty easy and quick to, to customize. We can hit play and, and watch through this. And it didn't take very long. Um, it's easy if I want to switch out the cutout people. I just download a new cutout person um, into my clip bin and then remove the person I don't want. So let's say I don't want Frank in this one. I want a different cutout person. So I can drag in another cutout person 
Um, I don't have another one ready for it right now, but we can put in this woman. And we'll go ahead and go to the visual properties and flip it this way. And we'll make her big enough that she's the same size as herself. Right about there. And now when it plays, there'll be that other person. We will need to animate it. We could have copied the animation properties from the previous cutout person as well. Now I already went ahead and made a customized one of these using another scenario, and you can go ahead and watch that right here. I have been asked by video makers about our scenarios a few times. They come up to me and ask, Why do you make scenarios for video editing? Where do they fit in? I have just been leaving them out because I simply cannot find a place to put them in my videos. And I'm usually thinking, what are you talking about? The use of scenarios can be what sets you apart from other video productions. You can use them to convey information, demonstrate situations, or to just be awesome. So go out and start using scenarios. So there you have it. I hope you see that there's a lot of different things that you can do with our scenarios, especially our conversational scenarios to, to demonstrate a conversation between two people. And uh, they should be very useful for you. Thanks and good luck.